Handstand marching is a great exercise to practice your handstand walks without having the necessary space uh, for say a 30 foot handstand walk or so. When you guys are in the gym, you got a lot of things going on. Um, you can't always get a nice straight line to do a handstand walk safely without running into somebody else or having something crash down on you. So this is a great substitute for that, but also a great exercise in itself as you see in the program. So I'm going to show you with this, the concept of handstand marching. Because handstand marching is doing a handstand and then stepping in place, but the steps don't necessarily need to be in the exact same location. So if I'm standing here, marching on my feet, this is not necessary in a handstand march. You're welcome to move forward and backward, and this is why. So we're gonna use this as an example. I'm gonna hold it and balance it. So now that it's balanced, I'm trying to keep my hand underneath the very top of the PVC in order to keep it balanced. Now, like a handstand walk, if I want it to move, I can lean and then follow it. So during handstand walks, when you guys are trying to walk, obviously, with this showing us, if we want to go that way, it's got to kind of tip over first, otherwise we just move the base and it drops. So with the handstand marching, same concept, except we're trying to stay in a pretty small amount of space and we're going to do what this has shown us and move forward and backward as necessary in order to stay balanced. For the record, each step is a rep. So if you have 30 reps, it is not 30 on each hand. That would be 60. It is 15 on each hand. So handstand marching from the front looks like this. And from the side, as you see, I'm moving forward and backward, and that's okay. Uh, we do expect you to do that in your handstand marching. Now, the other part about the handstand marching that I want you to pay attention to is whether or not you're lifting your arm off the floor or if you're rocking weight from arm to arm. It is okay to bend your elbows while you're doing these. Uh, stiff arms are not necessary. But if you can do straight arms, lock your elbow out, and then handstand march, you'll probably feel this technique a little bit more. Now from the side here, I'm gonna over, or from the front, I'm gonna over exaggerate the handstand marching uh, movement and by moving my torso side to side. So I'm not going to be swinging my legs, okay? We want our feet together until you get comfortable with handstand marching or handstand walks so you know that both feet are in a similar location and you don't have one hanging off to the side without your knowledge. So I'm gonna get upside down, hands turned outward. You can do it forward too, but it's a little bit harder to move forward and backward in a handstand walk with your hands straight because of the tension in your wrist. So I recommend turning your hands out and then I'm just gonna shift my weight side to side. Like I said, I'm going to over exaggerate this movement to make it more apparent to you, but this is what it looks like. That's handstand marching, work on it, and you're gonna get better at your handstand walks and keeping your balance. And keeping your balance.